Good evening and welcome to TL Physics and today I'm going to talk about um, the energy in a mass spring system. Now I'm going to talk about it a little bit differently because it is slightly different to the energy in a pendulum system. Just to remind you, GPE to KE to GP. So I've got a nice easy potential to kinetic to potential. And the problem with this one is I haven't got that. I've got, what I've got here is I've got I've stretched it, and then when at the bottom, I've stretched it some more. So I actually haven't got the potential energy. And at this bottom bit, I'm not going the fastest at all. In fact, I my velocity is zero um, at this point, and much like at the top. And what I'm going to talk about now is what actually is happening with the energy. And I've got a graph here of potential energy versus time. And I've drawn some diagrams about what's happening. Now, this is actually quite interesting. It's something you've got to be aware. This is potential energy that I have added to the system, okay? Because this is important. When it is at equilibrium, it's quite happy where it is, okay? There is some potential energy in there. Of course there is. There is elastic potential energy stored in the spring. But I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the energy that I have added by stretching it. And this is the energy that the system is going to move with. So when I'm at this point here, this is going to have maximum elastic potential energy here. So this is the energy I have added. When it gets to this zero point here, I have risen in height. Okay. But what's actually happened here is that my energy has been converted into kinetic energy in GPE. Okay. So my potential energy has decreased and my kinetic energy has increased. Okay, I still have potential energy in the system because I've got GPE. Here, as it's gone up, I've got my maximum GPE. I've got no kinetic and I've just got GPE. Here, again, bit of GPE and kinetic and here, maximum elastic potential. So I've got this graph here. And what this is important for saying is that the fact that it is about the amount of energy I am adding and about the changes in the system. So my GPE, as you can see, my potential energy is going from here to here. So let's say this was 10 joules and that down there was 5 joules. Okay. What that means is the extra energy that I've got here, this energy here, this must be what my kinetic is. So my fastest part is where I'm going to have most of the energy. So if I actually drew another graph underneath, and this one you don't normally see, here I have, I'm going to draw this line, I'm going to put kinetic on it. I'd have, like that. And that would be my kinetic energy there. Because what it is, at any point in time, I have to have 10 joules in my system. And even though it's been changed to 10 joules of GP, I would have 10 joules of kinetic here. So my fastest point is here, where I've got a mix of both, okay, where I haven't got any added elastic potential. It's important to note also that this, even though it's two waves, is actually one time period. It's one cycle through. Okay. So this here is the uh, time, it's all about the idea of elastic potential and GPE and kinetic energy. And much like a pendulum, where the equilibrium point is here, this is where it's fastest, it's exactly the same here. Around the equilibrium point, I have the most kinetic energy. And that is energy in a mass spring system.